Leveraging your investment in computer-aided engineering with Wavefront is as simple as data in, pictures out, and it's fast. In this video, we'll show you how a variety of companies use our engineering visualization software to get more mileage from design data by using it to create highly realistic pictures and animations. And we won't just show you other people's work, we'll show you how you can use Wavefront to make your own dynamic presentations. Engineering visualization can display products before they're built, simulate assembly processes that are too costly to model in real life, and illustrate complex analyses in ways that even non-specialists can understand. Engineering visualization differs from other visual presentations because it's driven by actual CAD and analysis data. Wavefront can import geometry from major CAD systems, finite element analysis results, and motion data from mechanism simulation software. Once imported into Wavefront, these three kinds of design data form the foundation for powerful video presentations. In the manufacturing and engineering environment, those presentations can be used in a variety of ways, including design review, analysis, assembly modeling, marketing, and event reconstruction. In the automotive industry, the design review process has traditionally been one of iterating on physical prototypes. Ford Motor Company is reducing the number of clay models needed to design a new car by producing rendered sequences like this. Geometry data in this piece comes from Ford's PDGS system. This animation shows a transmission as it shifts from first through fourth gear. Motion data was imported to Wavefront to define the movement of the gears and other components as they shift. The exploding assembly was created within Wavefront. Actual spectral reflectance information produces the look of brass, stainless steel, and chrome. Objects take on more realism through details such as the flag, U.S. insignia, and NASA logo on this space shuttle. Visualization lets you show an entire assembly, then dissolve to a single component, such as one shuttle engine, to take a close look at it from all angles. This simulation, created using data from SDRC's Ideas Package, displays both mode shape and stress information as the space station's huge photovoltaic arrays deform in response to the shuttle's positioning jets. It is just one of many operational scenarios which NASA must review in refining its design. Visualization here provides a powerful mechanism for presenting design concepts where a prototype could not be built. Visualization is also highly effective as an analysis tool, especially where input data sets are multivariate or time dependent. In this example, the airplane fuselage represents the boundary condition of a computational fluid dynamics simulation. Color represents pressure distribution. Pressure data can be shown on that boundary as well as in the three-dimensional flow field surrounding it. The ability to present both surface and field data is essential for effective visualization of all types of numerical analysis results. Techniques for subsetting the data, inspecting vector fields, and investigating arbitrary cross-sections of the computational grid provide for a comprehensive visual analysis of the information. Analysis results come in a variety of forms. Here's an innovative way of showing a jet's visibility to radar. As you look through the sphere, warm colors indicate angles at which the jet is vulnerable to radar detection. The blue areas at the front and rear of the plane show that at crucial maneuvering angles, a Lockheed Advanced Tactical Fighter is nearly invisible to radar. Using interpolation techniques, the visibility sphere is distorted as a function of that same radar data set. Some presentations require realism and accuracy, while others, such as this airbag deployment analysis, require only accuracy. CAD geometry, kinematics, and gas dynamics data from McNeil Schwendler's DITRAN Fluid Structure Interaction software generated the data driving this sequence. Visualization techniques can also be used to fine-tune assembly procedures by simply importing different types of information. Here, motion data from Deneb Robotics' iGrip package was used to drive this inspection of a precisely timed welding process. But mechanism studies can also be generated using motion creation techniques provided within the Wavefront system. In this example, components of a space-borne laser were assembled using keyframe animation tools. The CAD data is imported in an assembled configuration. The operator pulls the components apart and then simply chooses when in the sequence the computer will put them back in place. The piece concludes by showing the laser's cradle and its aiming movement. 
imported and created motion are compatible. This pro-engineered data was assembled using keyframe techniques, but CAD's Eye's DADS package provided the information that drives the piston, rod, and crank. Some assembly processes are handled by many different individuals. This can give rise to quality control problems. At Intel Corporation, wavefront-generated training films are used to educate workers on how their efforts fit into the precise sequence of layering, masking, and etching, the tasks involved in producing a functional semiconductor. In marketing applications, engineering visualization generates the same sort of common understanding, but the message rising out of this design manual is intended for consumption by potential customers rather than employees. Visualization allows precise tailoring of marketing messages. People who are intrigued by the new Dodge Viper, for example, are the kind who like to know what's under the hood. This presentation draws them in by combining systems and design data. Similarly, the aerospace industry creates visual proposals to communicate the functional details of highly technical systems. This automated cockpit warns pilots of ground-based threats and presents defensive countermeasures. Wavefront excels at making technical concepts understandable, whether they are electronic or architectural. In this presentation of a design for the Santa Fe Opera House, dynamic visualization techniques convey clearly the details of structure, scale, layout, and site orientation. The client gets the clearest possible understanding of the overall project. An absolutely clear understanding of events is also possible with Wavefront visualization. It is the rigorous representation of such details of evidence as skid marks and vehicle damage combined with accurate motion information which give these pieces their value in litigation. In this example, animation was used to replay the effect of a point load type blow to a defective bicycle helmet. Visualization in a product liability setting can also be used to reconstruct the event as it should have happened. Sometimes an event is not an accident, but a medical procedure, such as this lens implant showing a cornea being peeled for placement of an artificial lens. Similarly, doctors can review new methods of arterial surgery. Here, modeling and digital painting techniques are used together to yield the look of an animated medical illustration. Regardless of application, there is no more effective way to communicate technical concepts than using wavefront visualization. So how do you get your own data in, get your own pictures out, and create your own powerful video presentations? Wavefront's package makes it fast and easy through a graphical interface called the Director that gives easy access to the six steps of the visualization process. The first step is data translation. Translators convert CAD geometry to the Wavefront file format. Wavefront provides translators for a number of popular CAD systems, as well as translators for finite element analysis packages. Third parties provide many more. These vendors include in their systems the ability to save files in the Wavefront format. Menus simplify the act of selecting data for translation. The interface presents a variety of options for translating the incoming data. For example, the degree of faceting for the imported model can be controlled, or only a specified layer from a complex assembly can be extracted. The next step, modeling, lets you build objects from scratch and add realism to imported data. The Wavefront program called Model has powerful picking capabilities that let you select one layer of the assembly at a time to work on, or create new layers if functional layers created by CAD do not match visualization requirements. Here, the piston is selected and the material shading option is turned on. This will allow interactive display and edit of material characteristics. The color blue is selected from the current material library. Material properties may be changed at every stage of the visualization process. Wavefront's property editor is accessible at any time by clicking on its icon. This program lets you experiment with different material characteristics, textures, and lighting, all interactively. The appearance of the piston can be edited so that it takes on the look of chrome by using a technique called reflection mapping. This too is a simple menu selection. Test rendering shows a sphere with a chrome reflection map. To test this new material property, you can now either render the complete assembly or, as in this example, select a sub-region of the three-dimensional view and render just that portion.
Animation brings a presentation to life. Animation is handled in a program called Preview, where motion can be created by defining two or more keyframes and letting the system interpolate the images between them. On the other hand, the motion that drives this piston rod and crank was imported from a motion analysis package. Keyframe techniques can also be used on lights and cameras. This icon represents a light with a wide beam. Many types of lights are available. To automatically direct the light toward any one object, such as the piston, simply select that object. Camera positions are also animated in preview. Here, the camera is directed to pull in close once the assembly sequence is complete to emphasize the movement at the base of the rod. Pressing the play button shows the entire animation sequence. The next step is rendering, a batch process which combines geometry, materials, lighting, and motion information to create the final high-quality image sequence. A menu-driven interface simplifies selection of options such as output file format, resolution, frame range, and oversampling levels. To test the quality of motion before sending the rendered image sequence out to video, a flipbook tool lets you play back the animation in real time. In the program called Paint, you can add titles and other graphic elements to both still images and animations. Here, a high-resolution image of the crankshaft assembly is cropped to fit a standard-sized document and titles are added to indicate the three components. In this way, the investment of creating realistic images can be leveraged by incorporating them into documentation and other technical publications. Video production is the last and possibly most important step of the engineering visualization process. Video is the medium that gets your presentation out of the computer for the rest of the world to see. The program called Composer makes video production as simple as selecting the various events in a presentation and graphically defining the sequence in which they will appear. The colored lines in the middle of the screen indicate the different parts of the presentation, such as the opening panel, crankshaft sequence, and background, and how they relate to one another. Notice that many of the event lines overlap, indicating that one scene is a combination of several layers. In this example, the assembly is layered over the blue graded background. Pull-down menus provide a wide variety of video effects, making it possible to dissolve between scenes, composite one scene over another, and more. A control panel that resembles your home videotape machine lets you run through the complete presentation. A slider bar provides another way to inspect the animation. At this point, the presentation is complete. All that's left is to send it out to a videotape recorder. Here, too, the user interface makes it simple to specify options such as frame buffer and videotape recording device. Wavefront supports all the popular frame buffers and recording equipment. Pushing the record button starts the recording process. From imported engineering data to finished videotape, Wavefront provides it all in one complete package. Analysis, marketing, scientific visualization, assembly, event reconstruction, and design review. Wavefront supports a diversity of technical applications because of its unique ability to accept a wide range of engineering data types, including CAD, motion, and analysis results. Wavefront also provides a truly end-to-end -end visualization solution which includes the industry's most complete translator library and the easiest to use and most comprehensive video production solution. Engineers choose Wavefront because no other visualization system is as directly suited to their needs. We would like to thank the customers who have allowed us to share their work with you in this video. These are companies that have advantages over their competitors who rely solely on computer-aided engineering to bring their products to market. Our customers leverage their investment in design automation systems by transferring data to Wavefront where it can be used in the types of applications we've shown you. As a result, they need fewer physical prototypes. They minimize design revisions. They get new products to market faster and at less cost. And most importantly, they win new business. If you'd like to join these companies, or for more information about Wavefront or any part of the engineering visualization process, call us.